how are all how are you? Hey guys, how are y'all? I am so excited to be filming. Um, today I am filming a collab video with two of my best girls, Georgina and Lauren. Um, we're doing a collab together for Cooking for Two series. This is the third um, video of this series. Unfortunately, I missed out on the second one that we did together. Just Georgina and um, Lauren did the one this last month um, I moved into my new apartment and my mom was here um, none of my family or my husband's family live in Oklahoma um, it's literally just us so whenever we do get family um, we really try and spend as much time as we can with them um, so that is why um, I was a part of the series but I'm super excited that life is starting to really settle down so I can be more um, present, especially in this collab, because I love this collab. It's so fun. Um, we're all doing like super different stuff, but I think there's something in here that could work for anyone. Um, or there's something in here like for a different person. Um, so I'm super excited to be doing it. Um, so I'm going to make something... Um, I've heard it called crack chicken before. I've seen it on Pinterest, um, but when I tried to look it up like recently, all I could find were ones with um, like extra ingredients. And from what I remembered, it was just four simple ingredients because I'm a simple person. Like I don't want to be making stuff with like all this crap that I have to go out and buy. I want like three, four, five ingredient max like stuff. So you'll notice that a lot of my dishes that I do make are very easy. I have a seven month old. He's seven months today and my husband and I both work full time. And so I like something that's quick, easy and simple. So um, again, I'm making something. I'm just going to call it crack chicken because that's what um, I've heard it called before. And you literally it's chicken, cream cheese. I'm using the um, reduced fat cream cheese, uh, the whipped kind, I think I got two. I don't remember if it's whipped or not. Um, one packet of ranch, um, I can't even remember, like salad dressing seasoning, and then one packet of chocolate mix. Um, so literally, I'm just gonna put the chicken in the crock pot. Um, I'm gonna put this whole thing of cream cheese. I'm gonna put both of these packets and then I'm gonna put it on low. Um, I've never made this before, so I'm gonna kinda, um, I can't tell you the exact time or the exact points that it's gonna be yet because I haven't made it yet. Um, but once I calculate that all up, I'll definitely put all the details in the end. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm making. I'll show you me putting it in the crock pot. <laughs> So yeah, super easy, super quick. Um, again, I don't know how long I'm gonna keep it in there. I'll definitely tell you at the end of the video. Um, but yeah, I will catch up with you guys when I'm taking that out of the crock pot and I'll show you super simple, super quick size so you can throw together to make a delicious meal for you and your significant other. So excuse the moving boxes and the trains. We live by a train track. Um, but I did want to show you guys one little part of the apartment that's kind of coming together um, as I finally got the little couch set that I wanted. Um, I found this little vintage set on Facebook Marketplace. Um, I scored both of the pieces for 100 bucks, which I was pumped about. Um, this coffee table came from the last house, so I've had that. Blankets and both of those pillows came from Kirkland's. That throw blankets from Target. That pillow was gifted to me. Um, so I don't know where that one went or where that one's from. Candle is Bath and Body Works. Um, teakwood? Something teakwood. Um, 
and then I wanted to show you guys the cutest little pumpkins I got. So that blue one and that blue pumpkin I got from the dollar spot at Target. Both of those were a dollar. And then that white pumpkin that I got, um, I scored that one at, oh my gosh, where did I get that? Oh, TJ Maxx. And it was like 10 bucks. I was shocked that that was $10 because it's like a glass um, pumpkin. Like it's super cute. Isn't that so cute? I loved that pumpkin. And then this one is like suede. They had a few different other colors, so I'll probably go back and score the rest of those. Also, fun fact, whenever I'm cleaning or cooking, I go on YouTube. Let me find exactly what this is called. I normally just put like sleeping music. Um, what did I, what is it called? So it's called Sleepy Music 24-7 Relaxing. Um, and I always put it on. It's super tranquil to me. It really helps me like stay in the groove while I'm cleaning and doesn't distract me. Um, but the living room has a lot more work. Like I want to get some art to go here. This is like Ross's corner. I want to make this in the back here. I want to get him like a chest and figure out some way to put all his stuff. But he's about to get done with the swing. He is about honestly done with the swing. Um, the activity center, he likes it, um, but he's very much losing interest. Like he wants to be more like explorative. So I don't know how much longer we'll have those two. Um, but all of, like his toys, I want to get a very pretty white um, piece of furniture where I can put all this stuff in there. Um, I do want to get some curtains. I'm thinking white, if you can notice from all my white. I'm very obsessed with white. I like the look of it. I like that it looks super clean. I like very clean, simple. Um, I want to get a gray painting to go here, preferably gray and um, navy blue would be perfect. And then the kitchen is just all together. Oh my gosh, it's so messy. Please do not judge me. Um, it's a work in progress. They definitely want to get some art up here. Um, I don't know. There's so much I want to do to this apartment, but um, I just wanted to show you this is kind of where, where we are. <laughs> and then there's still some boxes, as you can see, that we need to go through. And I won't even show you the bedroom because it is not ready to be shown at all. <laughs> Okay, so I wanted to show you guys the sides for tonight. Um, I ended up grabbing, um, also, side note, Good & Gather um, is going to be the new brand for Target. So how there was like Archer Farms, Market Pantry, it's all going to Good & Gather. And just a little fun fact that I learned from my little ship shopper. Um, but normally I try and do, I can't remember how you say them, Idaho, whatever, something like that, potatoes, um, Felicia from Felicia's, um, fitness page, she makes them all the time, they're like the instant mashed potatoes, they were out of that at my, um, uh, local Target, um, so my ship shopper grabbed this one, um, this one is higher in points so um, a half a cup of the other what Felicia uses is four points and a half a cup of this is seven so this is higher in point in points but I would say the convenience of this one um, is definitely nicer in the fact you literally just place it in the microwave I believe for three minutes um, and then you uncover it stir and then it goes back in there one minute and then you let stand for one minute so they're ready in five minutes um, so seven point um, side for the chicken right there and then I do a bag of corn Steven doesn't like corn, so he'll probably eat all these mashed potatoes, except for my half cup. Um, so Steven's not crazy about veggies, so pretty much this whole bag is for me. I normally eat half um, of the bag and then save the other half for lunch the next day, is what I typically do. And then I wanted to show you guys the chicken. So what I ended up doing is um, adding... A, a cup of cheese to the oh my god it looks so good um i ended up adding a cup of cheese to the top and then covering and then putting it just on warm um now that steven's about to get back home i'm gonna put it on um low so that it can kind of heat up a little bit but that looks so delicious um and once i plate it i will show you guys um Okay, sorry. Um, once I plate it, I'll show you guys all the finalized points. Um, but from what I've configured, it's going to come out to 11 smart points. And also for the corn, um, you steam it in the bag and you're done. So I'm not going to film that. And then the potatoes are the same way. Microwave them for three minutes, uncover, 
stir. I mean, just go off the directions off the box. Um, so once I get all that plated, I will show you um, taste tests and final points for the meal. Is there something in my teeth? No, it's just a little cricket. Okay. Hello, Steven. Nice of you to join your family. Yes, it was. <laughs> Do you want to come try the um, dinner that I made before we of actually course. eat dinner? Okay. Follow me into the kitchen. <laughs> Okay, so this is crack chicken with cheese. I like the name so far. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna get a bite of mashed potatoes. And then I'm gonna get you a good little piece of, oh, that's kind of a lot. That was a big one. Yeah, all right, you ready? Mm -hmm. You wanna feed yourself actually? Yeah, I do actually. Okay, okay, so make sure none of it gets on our son. Be okay, wouldn't be the first time. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna try. Oh. A little hot. Oh gosh. <laughs> Is it hot? Yeah. A little hot? Is it good? Real good. Awesome. Cool. So. He's like, can I have some of that? Yeah, I see. Oh gosh, I didn't mean to zoom in. Let's zoom in on his face. All right, well, there you have it, folks. He liked it. Um, make sure you go check out Georgina and Lauren's channels for what they're making. I actually don't know what they're making, so head over on over, head on over there to go see their channel, and we're going to eat our dinner as a family. Bye. See you, bye, buddy. You say bye, it. guys. I'll see you all next time. Bye. All right guys, so the chicken ended up coming out for mine. I did six servings of half cup servings, so it ended up being four smart points per serving. You really could do kind of whatever you want to make the servings out, but I thought a half cup was more than enough. So thank you guys so very much for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button.